Listening to that is Dale Vince, Chief Executive of Green Energy Provider Ecotricity and Chairman of Forest Green Rovers. Thank you for coming on the programme this afternoon, Dale. I, I wonder if, if the picture that Steve paints of the impending problems coming down the line, if we don't get on top of this stuff, is one that you would agree with. Well, I think we definitely have problems. Our dependence on fossil fuels are clearly a problem. And this winter is going to cost us billions of pounds from our economy. But pre the crisis, we were shipping out one billion pounds every week to bring fossil fuels here just to burn them. So quite often people talk about the cost of green, but what they don't talk about is the cost of not going green and the benefits of changing where we get our energy from now to to make our electricity from the wind and the sun and the sea and to make our gas from grass are massive. But if, if, as we've seen, a part of the problem with the generation of electricity uh, is that the wind just hasn't blown, where, where are we going to get it from? Well, bear in mind, there are three components to the electricity problem. And the first one was two nuclear power stations that didn't come out of scheduled maintenance at the end of the summer. So nuclear, for all its vaunted reliability, let us down. Then the wind was lowest that it's been for 60 years this summer. That's a very special event. And then one of the cables that connects us to Europe burnt down, Mm -hmm. which is another pretty, pretty rare event. So it was a combination of things. It's not all about renewable energy that has put us in this position. Do you think that uh, it strikes me that the uh, when it comes to energy storage or where we get our energy from, this has been a problem that has been kicked down the road for many, many years and hasn't really been faced up to. And it is the uh, challenge of getting to net zero that is going to make us face up to it. Yeah, absolutely. We've lacked a coherent energy policy probably for 20 years, I would say. And, How? and we're this paying is the price so for that critical now. for this nation, for, for individuals, for families, for households, for businesses. This is, you know, if, if this were viewed as a national security issue, it would never be treated like this. No, you're quite right. But I think the problem goes back to privatisation in the 90s, because, as you say, energy is critical to our nation, to our homes and our businesses. Our whole economy depends on energy. And we privatised it. We stuck it in the hands of private companies. Look what they've done with it. Dale Vince, your founder of Green Energy Provider, Ecotricity Chairman of Forest.